Hello world. This is Mike again with Backwards Machining. Well, I got some new tooling. Um, these are four inch shell mills, face mills, whatever, basically for roughing. Uh, this is the, I don't know what you call it, rectangular insert one. These are round. Uh, this is a three inch. I also have This style here is, um, I think it's square, but obviously you're cutting with the, the tip. So I think this is uh, for heavy roughing. That's why I got it. I believe this one you've already seen. That's an old one. Um, Again, another one of the other ones. I've got to get a couple more of these R8 Arbors. I also got a few of these. Um, these are round insert end mills, indexable end mills. And I got some of the rectangular ones as well. I wanted them... I wanted some longer to get down for deeper pockets. I don't know, just ever do a deeper pocket, but they're not they're not all long. Um, just trying to get my my tooling situated. Unfortunately, as anybody knows, tooling is the most expensive and longest drawn out part of this. Anyway, on with the show. The next thing I'm I'm making for this now, again, this being the CNC mill I'm working on, is I have to make feet for this. You know, this is going to be standing on top of the frame, and the feet are going to be this width, but it's going to stick out an inch past each side of this. Now, I'm going to weld it to the frame, uh, so there's no chance of it moving. But I'm still making it very heavy. So there's uh, less chance of deflection. Let me show you the piece of steel we've got uh, chose here. This is three inches wide. One inch thick. Uh, it's about seven inches long. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut it lengthwise with an end mill. Really, I don't have any other way that I can think of to cut this. I can't put it in my bandsaw. And unfortunately, in my chop saw, the blade is shot. Uh, I've got one on order, but who knows when it's going to get here. And besides, I don't even know if I could actually hold this thing in there safely trying to just cut this thing down the center. So I guess what I'm what I'm getting at is I'm just going to slot it with an end mill. I mean, ultimately I could use uh one of those uh machining blades on my other mill, on the horizontal mill, but I, I still run into the same problem. How to hold it what I was thinking this way was I would just go down three quarters of the way stop and then maybe finish it off on a bandsaw and then I can clean it up uh, I guess I'm just I'm kind of talking out loud shooting from the hip I'm not a hundred percent sure how to do this but right now this is where I'm headed just giving you guys an update on what was going on. This is the next part of the puzzle that I was working on. All right, guys. Well, this was plan B. And as you can see, it's not going to work. I mean, it's cutting good. But I don't have the clearance.
And the problem is in the vertical mill, no, horizontal mill, the blades I have are so darn thick, I don't have a thin kerf one like this with a smaller uh, diameter arbor. Ah, crap. You know, this is starting to look horrible. You know, doing the regular slotting thing is working, but it's going to take a while. I tried plunge milling, and, you know, it was working. But again, it's going to take a while. So, I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. This saw blade, unfortunately, did not last very long. This is my Evolution metal cutting saw. And you know what? Uh, I'll be fair. that This blade lasted a few cuts before it died. Now, I've heard some really good stuff about Evolution's blades. And if I'm going to be fair about it, You'll notice, and if you've been watching any of my old videos, you'll know why this is dull. I ended up cutting Inconel accidentally. I didn't know it was Inconel until uh, after I was working with it for too long. And I destroyed my, my bandsaw blade, and I destroyed this blade. But, you know, it wasn't a big piece. So I am still a little disappointed that it destroyed this blade like it did. I can't even cut through aluminum with this blade right now. That's how bad this blade is. Uh, anyway, enough harping on that. The new blade is coming tomorrow. I got some, uh, I think it's a Diablo uh, blade. And what I'm thinking is... If I put, uh, I don't know, this in here somehow, maybe, just maybe if I can clamp it, I can try to cut it like this, because this definitely does have, you know, The ability it's just if I can hold it because uh, if I got to cut this in my mill it's gonna take forever and if I got to cut this in my horizontal mill I'm gonna lose a lot of steel because of the blades I have so I really am running out of options I don't know I thought about this guy but he can only do I think five eighths, and that piece is one inch thick. Now maybe I could gouge it. I don't know. Might be worth a shot, huh? <laughs>